What I'm about to show you is one of the cleanest React components I've ever seen. It's an abstraction on top of Radix UI, making it accessible by default. It comes unstyled, but you can also get a styled version. It looks super clean. And let me know down in the comments below if you're gonna use it in your app, because I know I will. And here's the demo page for the component. This is not the component itself, but once I click the open drawer right here, check what happens. It opens up and this is super clean. We can close it either by sliding down slowly or it's actually also momentum based. So I can grab this and close it with my mouse just by dragging it down a bit. You can see the background very, very subtly is scaled down just a tad. You can slide this down and it's just super, super clean. And this works perfectly on mobile too. Let's open the drawer. And this is fully touch based on mobile. So you can drag it down on your phone as if it was a native thing on your phone, even though it's not. It's a super, super nice implementation. It looks awesome. And you will have a massive edge for your mobile application if you use this instead of a regular dialogue. It's going to look native. It's going to look super, super clean. And the easiest form to get started with this is actually really simple. Let's initialize a React component. This is inside a very basic Vt application. Import a drawer component from Vol. That is the library that this component ships in. It's called V. A U L. We can just install that dependency and then let's return from our React component a drawer.root. That's going to be the root and the trigger is going to be the button that opens up the model or the drawer. So we put that inside of a drawer.trigger, then we portal our content into the screen and we define an overlay that's going to be shown behind the drawer. And then as for the actual content, we're going to portal into the screen that's going to be just a regular um, content by default. It, this is pretty much like Shad CN's UI library. This comes unstyled. So if I just save that and we head over to localhost 3000, and that's not 3000, we need to go to the Vite port, which is 5173. If I now click open, you can see, well, it's there, but it's pretty weird, like without styling, without animation. So what do we do? This looks pretty bad. Do I have to configure everything myself? No, you don't. Because in the GitHub repository, we can see in the readme, there's a bunch of examples like the dismissible, scrollable with inputs or without scaled background. That is the one I go for. And we can just copy the entire drawer root from here. This comes pre-styled now with Tailwind CSS and looks incredibly clean out of the box. Let's replace this. We don't even have to do any adjustments it's all working right away and when i then restart the vt app right here and click open drawer you can see it takes up about half of the screen there's a beautiful overlay on the rest we can slide it down it's completely momentum based and it just looks so clean on mobile devices as well and under the hood it works with a radix component just like shad cn's ui it's this component right here, like a dialogue, but instead of an actual pop-up that opens up, it's the drawer. But that is the basis, so the API is in fact the same. You can just take a look at the dialogue API you get from Radix, and that is the same thing you can also pass into this. So for the root, you have a bunch of options like should scale, background, open, and uh, this open state is so you can have controlled components, by the way. So if you wanted a dismissible input, that is totally possible, where you have a button that lets you close the drawer and of the touch controls. Instead, we could just click this button right here, click to close. And that is because this is a controlled component. You can see right here, open is equal to open. And then we save that instead. So it all works with the basic Radix API. So it's a super clean implementation built on top of Radix, just like Chat CNC UI library, allowing you to easily modify it, but get a very clean component out of the box. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that component as much as I did. If you did, consider liking the video and then I'm going to see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.